Hello everybody, Dr. Yu here with the next video from the Calgary Guide video series, Edema, Pitting versus Non-Pitting Edema. Please help us reach more viewers by liking the video just as it's starting out and by subscribing to my channel. Just hit the subscribe button beneath the video. With that, let's get started. Edema is defined as excess fluid accumulation in the interstitial compartments of the body, resulting in swelling, especially in gravity-dependent areas like the feet and ankles. There's multiple different causes and types of edema. Localized or generalized edema, which you can find more about by reading our other Calgary Guide content, involves increased interstitial fluid retention with normal lymphatic drainage, such that, with application of pressure to the area of edema, the fluid in the area of swelling will drain out of the area into the surrounding interstitium and out of that area through the normal lymphatic drainage systems. That results in a visible indentation in the skin when pressure from that area is released. That is what results in pitting edema. In contrast, lymphedema and myxedema result in non-pitting edema. Lymphedema occurs when lymph nodes are obstructed, altered, or absent, or otherwise dysfunctional due to tumor, surgery, or infection. That results in increased interstitial fluid held in lymphatic channels, preventing lymphatic drainage from the affected area of the body. Myxedema occurs when subdermal interstitial fluid is rich in non-fluid substances, such as mucopolysaccharides, hyaluronic acid, or mucins. These non-fluid substances increase interstitial oncotic pressure, which draws more fluid into the interstitium. The fluid is highly viscous, so drainage through the lymphatics is reduced. Consequently, lymphedema and myxedema both result in increased interstitial fluid retention with reduced lymphatic drainage. Thus, with application of pressure to the area, fluid is pushed along the lymphatic vessels, but because of the lack of drainage, the fluid returns to the area under pressure as soon as pressure is released. This results in edema that is non-pitting in nature. And that's all for this slide on pitting versus non-pitting edema. For more on nephrology topics, you can check out the videos on nephrotic syndrome or diabetic nephropathy. Again, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.